Hey YouTube, this is your girl Lucky. Happy Friday, October 16th, and thank you for tuning in. I want to say once again, Happy National Coming Out. I didn't realize till now how important this week was, or days. I, not that I didn't know about it or didn't take it serious, and actually there were some times where I for, even forgot about it. I'm so gonna admit that. However, I, I just struggled with so many things for the years. It's so crazy because I'm one of those people like I'm, I am who I am. I'm proud of it. I'm outspoken. I stick up for myself and other people. But there's other times where it's like, for me, it's a time and a place for everything. It doesn't mean I'm ashamed of who I am. It just means I might have had something else going on or it wasn't the right situation. But this week, um, my kids had MEA school break. And, um, you know, I spent some time with them individually. However, they're gone today and I used it to celebrate. Last night I went out um, to a gay bar and it was amazing. I got dressed up, I even put on fake eyelashes and wore freaking heels, which I can't stand, but I did it. And I did it for myself this time. I didn't do it for anybody else. I mean, there was a dress attire because there was a drag queen doing a um, CD release. So I wore all, pretty much all black and I felt good. It was fun. And my daughter did my hair for me before she left and that meant a lot to me. And then my friends shit on me, but oh well, I still went because you know in the gay community you always make another friend. And I was so happy. I didn't mind that I was there at first alone. You know what I'm saying? And later on, my girl showed up, and I was drunk, and it was crazy. I don't normally even drink, for that matter. But it was fun. It was so exciting. Um, if you can, I'm sure soon there's going to be something about this um, song, if you haven't already heard it. But it, I think it's called I'm the Shit, and it's by BB Sahara. And she is awesome, awesome. It was so amazing. It was so amazing. I just... Oh, it was just awesome, and I had so much fun, but those are the moments that that just, just make me feel so complete inside, you know what I'm saying? Um, I met people, and I made friends, and I was just laughing, and singing, and dancing, and all this fun stuff, and you know, no, drinking shouldn't have to be a part of that all the time. And normally for me, it isn't. I really don't need to be high and drunk to have a good time. But for that particular situation, as far as me being out last night, it was part of me also celebrating me and coming out. And then today I went to a luncheon and I came out even more. So it's like every day, some of us have like one particular day or time and we have a story or a bad uncle that hated us because we told something or whatever. Or another, uh, others of us, um, depending on our sexuality or orientation, we just do what we do and we come out and we come out every day and we're slow about it. And I heard somebody speak something similar to that today and it just so rung a bell and t touched my heart. And I mean, it's actually making me teary eyed now, so I'm not going to say too much more because I don't want to cry on camera yet. But it was just, it was so moving for me and it was very spiritual. And that's kind of how I became. It took a long time for me to understand feelings and myself. I would understand somebody else before me. Now it's trying to understand myself before somebody else. And being lesbian, um, I'm proud of being lesbian, but I didn't always say I was a lesbian. It's weird because I'm not ashamed of who I am. I keep on saying that, but I stress that. You shouldn't be ashamed of who you are. But some of us just have other things going on or we don't look at it as a label or whatever the situation may be. But this week, this year was very important to me. Um, and I know some of you know that I'm reading the Judy Shepard book. I swear I'm almost done, but it's so awesome. Um, but it's very meaningful for me with that book as well. So it ties, some of these things are just tying in. And I think that's what helped. I was watching clips on YouTube for, um, HRC, which is Human Rights Campaign. I've done a little bit of work with human rights. I'm activist, so I've done some things. However, after seeing Judy Shepard and her husband accept an award in her son's name and actually um, uh, the past Senator Kennedy, I was just amazed and it just helped me more and more. So little things, certain people, certain times, certain situations, they help us be who we are and grow or, you know, branch out. And that was it for me. Those things that I'm mentioning to you today on the video um, I mean, yes, there's been plenty more over the years. I celebrate Pride almost every year for as much as I can, when I can, whether I'm alone or with somebody. But um, I'm in a place now in my life, literally, that I'm not around a lot of my... I'm not even near family or friends. 
and sometimes that's good for me sometimes you know we have hard times over it but I'm okay with it I feel at peace I'm content I I do somewhat live in the moment and I don't mean as a rebel anymore but I just I like to live day for day um, I loved being around who I've been around lately as far as like the LGBTQ community and I wish I could have that in my life every fucking day and I know a lot of you feel the same way we go outside or on the bus or to a certain movie or whatever and we're not and I don't really say it's always feeling uncomfortable it's just out of place and whatever it's not always great for me anyways however when I've done some of these things this week with national coming out I just felt so at, at home you know and my 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 rainbow was complete <laughs> so I know I'm rambling I apologize but it's very emotional for me so yeah, I don't have a particular day or year. I mean, my best friend, Chad, I love him so much and I miss him so much. He came out. Well, we kind of were coming out at the same time. This was when he lived in New York City. And I remember he wanted to meet. And I actually didn't look at him as gay or straight. A lot of people try telling me he's gay or he's, he's going to be gay. How are you going to be gay? I mean, I still don't understand that. And I was in denial. Not because... You know, I was not wanting him to be. It was just that, like, I, I saw him as I saw me. And certain other people's like, we are who we are. Who fucking cares if he falls in love with a guy? You know what I'm saying? And um, he believes in who he is. Some of us take longer and some of us has, you know, we have roadblocks and stuff. But, you know, he did it. And I don't care if I was the first person or the last person. No, I just still see him as Chad. You know, I'm proud of him being gay. And on that was freaking, I don't know, like 18 years ago, um, 15 years ago, maybe. I don't remember. I'm sorry. But it was just still like, that's Chad. And so when other people started finding out, they're like, Chad, your best friend. What do you know? Da -da -da -da, whatever. I'm like, it's so not your business. And it's not like that. You know, I support him. I love him. It, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And I think some people have been like that towards me. And then other people, some people in my family maybe have been more towards like, whatever you know it's probably a phase and and this is maybe the things i've been through that made them made me get that image and then them think that but when you come out as lgbtqa for the most part we don't go back you know and those people that do i don't know what that is i don't know why um maybe it's a religious experience and we've all seen it on the talk shows and shit I don't know how and why but that's their them let's focus on us and focus on being individuals and being proud of who we are and I congratulate all of you that have great stories and I congratulate you even if your story isn't great meaning you struggled or whatever but you have a story but once again not all of us have stories and we we just need to take it for what it is as far as our moments and just remember like we might come out of the closet partially or um, baby steps or whatever and it could take us forever you know what I mean? However, we're probably encouraging somebody else to come out in the process. And when I heard some people speak at this luncheon today, it was like, wow, it's, I don't feel alone. They think the way I think. They see what I see. You know, they, they understand. And that's exactly how it was. Like, think about what transgender people go through. You know what I'm saying? So we just all need to love each other and support each other and... Um, you know, continue to talk about national coming out, you know, not just in a day or a week. And, you know, once again, me reading that book, um, and seeing those things on YouTube and being around these people, it just, it really kind of all tied in together and it made a lot of sense for me, but everybody's situations are different and everybody's stories or, um, days or whatever you know our, our lifestyle as far as like wh where you might work or go to school or your children or your, you might not have children you know it's all different and it's okay you know what i'm saying there's no law saying that you have to do this or be this by a certain time and you know just feel comfortable with yourself and work on it every day and on the days that you can't just you know try to be happy and be at peace and with that said, I don't know, I, I just want everybody to really have a good, good day and make this, these good little moments that you have, um, you know, last a long time or, you know, 